Hello everyone, on this video I'll be going through one of my Photoshop sketches and I'll try to explain what I do and how I usually do my Photoshop renderings. And I apologize in advance, I'm finished so I will talk pretty much like Kimi Raikkonen. So yeah, here we have the sketch brought into Photoshop and I've already added a white layer on top of it and put the opacity to about 90. So I barely see the sketch, the original sketch, and I can sketch it again in Photoshop because I want to fix a few spots on the original sketch. So here I created a new layer and uh, I used the pencil to create a shape for the main body and then I added another layer where I will select uh, headlights, the front grille, the windows and the chrome parts. I'll actually try a quick shadow here but I end up deleting it because I changed the light source and I didn't actually like the shadows here. So here I'll start adding the basic shape and just soft brush and try to get the most basic shape and add details later on. I won't go into much detail on how I choose the light sources and how I know where the reflections go and such because it's gonna take a long time to explain. After that uh, I start doing selections to a new layer and I'll start adding details. There's actually a small perspective error uh, here, but I'll end up fixing it later on.
I have no idea what I want to do with the grill, so I just experiment a few things and end up doing the thing I wanted to do in the first place. Here again I add a new layer and start doing edges with, as you see, with the white lines. And I do all of them with freehand. And occasionally I use pen tool to do the lines as well. Here again I have no idea what I want to do with the headlights. And so uh, of course I experiment on a few things. I end up with something that looks a bit like the new Volvo headlights. I didn't feel motivated enough to do retail wheels, so I just do something generic and move on. Here a new layer, a soft white brush to add shininess. And that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment below. And if you want me to do more detailed tutorials, be sure to comment and subscribe.